Today we back on Real Bleeder, man. The other video hit 100K, man. So we gonna get back active when he got shot, man. Dude got shot, and now he doing an interview talking about it, bro. And this interview, bro, look real nervous and shook up. Let's bring it back. crazy when he was on the ground they asked him what's his mama name what kind of question is that to ask me give me some fucking help i'm shot up that's crazy let's start the y'all should have told her like what the fuck but this him shot up again we're gonna go back to it we let y'all know what happened before we get back into this interview so now you're gonna hop into the shit bro because niggas want to know like could you run us through that whole day what what happened bro because you yeah. know people don't really know the whole thing like Whole situation, so. Yeah. As you can see, bro look nervous as fuck to talk about the situation. The shit just happened like two weeks ago, so bro really kind of shook up. You can tell he paranoid as fuck. He don't trust the interview man at this point. Like, let's start duh. Like, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not in that city. Yeah, out my shit more than you know what I mean? So boom, what it is, what it is, at the end of the day. Make the long story short. You hear me? I'm having a flower this day, you know, getting my nails done. You see them? See them bitches, huh? Gotta keep them bitches together. You hear me? Taking two minutes trips. I really just on location, man. Posting my location and shit. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Like, was it worth it, bro, getting your nails done, family? Like, then you at, like I said, a local Walmart in Monroe, like, VIP, nail bar, like, they don't know where that's at, bro. Like, come on, bro. Everything down the street, bro, he right there at the nail shop. Then you on location bad, bro. You really was, what, 20 seconds of, uh, 20, 20 seconds away from when you got shot from the VIP to the gas station is insane. Let's start, mm -hmm. dog. Nigga, push me off. Kiss me. You and Monroe, bro, you basically was just showing them, like, trying to tell them, come kill me if you, come on, if y'all about it, come do it. Basically, that's what you were doing. And they showed you, like, yo, we're going to show you that we, like, you're not about to come in our city and try to take over. Like, they really was on that. Then you trying to take his bitch, fam. Mama must be, like, an hour away, some somewhere close, but for you to be so far away and that shit still happen, that's crazy, though. I don't know what that tell you. Dog. Real high boy, man. Nigga, real high boy. Like, this in a whole another nigga city, like, nah. Yeah. This shit really state to state, I mean. And my first time was getting out the cave. I did, but it's the first time nigga busting me up like that, like. But I ain't got shot before and shit for that. Oh, word. Yeah, you a little too hot out right here, boy. Like, a little too, too hot, like. Like, slow your ass down, bro. Like, they shot you in your back, bro. Like, come on now, dude. Like, you were fighting for your life, family. Like, over that cool nanny, bro. What's going on? The situation that occurred was due to one of the victims allegedly dating a former fiance of alleged leader of YNN, a non-street gang in Monroe. It's like, the same shit, but like, it's like the most time I'm getting nearly hit with this bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, how, how many times did you get hit, bro? Yeah. Where did you get hit? I was in my back, like, down my back line. So your back line? I don't know, bro. That's why I say I feel like Gang just got the big head. He like, man, I'm about to take over my role. I'm taking niggas bitches. I'm taking switches. I'm taking everything, and it backfired, bro. They not having it, bro. Nowhere in Louisiana, bro. I swear to God, I'm from Lake Charles, Louisiana, bro. Ain't nobody letting nothing slide, bro. I don't care where you from, what you got going on, bro. Louisiana is Louisiana, bro. Yeah. Let me tell you, like, it's like, you know, it's really some rippy shit. You know, really a like rippy, bro. It's like on some shit, like, nigga, just come to my side with a bit, but, you know, everybody know that's doing that, what they do with the with them. That ain't the way of, of doing it, but, yeah. that's the way they did it. You know, I'm, nigga, hit the car, or whatever. Soon, but, like, I'm thinking niggas to wreck the car. I ain't thinking, you know what I'm saying? Cause then, you know, there's no shot. 
You know, thought they were gonna wreck the car? Nah, y'all wreck them motherfuckers. Nah, come on, you talking about ain't the right way to do it? What's the right way to do it? They hit you with some shots, fam. That's why I say these robbers and shit just be talking, bro. Like I know, bro, just he really going through it right now. You feel me? His pride in a way, bro. So he really trying to still process this shit in that this really happened to him, bro. Cause this shit is insane, bro. His like. <laughs> Come on now, gang. That wasn't even right for you just to say some shit like that. Cause they look like they down there got the job well, done. On, right? From the begin, from the get go. And I got new. Oh, okay. Yeah. Man, I knew what time it was. I knew that your body was out. You're riding a bit. So when I duck, you hear me? It'd be like hit the back of my arm. Like it just grazed the back of my head, but mm -hmm. it hit my my blade bone though. Yeah. You hear me? The back of my shit be hit me in my back. I got in my back with three times. What the was three times? No, I got shot. I got hit times. Hey, for you not to know how many times you got shot is crazy. Let's start there, fam. Then asking your partner, let's start there. He like, I don't know, man, but that's three band-aids, bro. It ain't four, you got hit three times, fam. Let's start there. But damn, that shit look bad, gang. They, they fucked you up. Like, I ain't, that shit ain't really wasn't nothing. That shit really was bullshit. Eating them bitches like bullshit ass and niggas, but I knew I was gonna make it out though. Cause everything was still like, I was just getting weaker, but I knew I wasn't going nowhere. Cause I, like, I, I, I don't know, I don't want me to say all that, but I just knew it was with me, it wasn't over. But I know when, on the scene after that, they took me a whole hour and 30 minutes to help. Well, you know what I'm saying? Oh, Talk man. Talk about the so, men they could do it. Over that because the shit look bad, bro. They had to get you to a different hospital. Monroe Hospital couldn't do it for you, fam. They would have brought you to Monroe Row Hospital. Y'all ass probably wouldn't have made it. You better be happy they brought you an hour and something away, fam. Let's like, start there. They wanted you to die. Mm -hmm. Man, that's crazy. But I know it all right. Then I make an hour and 30 minutes to the next destination. I ain't going nowhere. Yeah. So, so for that situation... I guess what you think you could have done better is not drop the low. Because when you was in getting your... Yeah, I just be out my shit, though. I ain't gonna lie. I be out my shit. I don't be ripped out no nigga like me. I mean, you felt, like, comfortable in my room, though? Like, because it is three hours, three hours yeah. away. It's about, like, it shit is every shit. I don't know why I want to do it. You know what I'm mean? saying? It's about how you just do it. You know what I'm saying? It's about how you move. Hell, uh, yeah. Like, because I know everything before it happened. Like, I wouldn't even... Uh, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't worry about this nigga. And apparently you did it the wrong way. And if you knew everything before it happened, bro, you would have never dropped your location, bro. Come on now, the VIP nail bar, the Walmart book, fucking nail shop, bro. Everybody in Monroe, mama be there, bro. They sisters, grandma, aunties, hood rats, everybody, bro. Pimps, wanna be gangs. Everybody go to that same nail shop and they know that same woman, bro. Once they seen that woman that was doing your feet, they like, oh, that's Chicho. Explaining the situation in Monroe when he got shot. I don't know, man. Some people, I don't feel like they take life serious, bro. Like, some people feel like life a game. Like, cause when I get out of this interview, like, he confident. He feel like he in another nigga city where he gon' he flex and he think he a man type shit. Like, like he got the big head. And I rock with game, but you not, you can't be moving like that, bro. Like, you the biggest motherfucking gorilla in the jungle, bro. But they always gonna have that big ass King Kong gorilla that hop out of nowhere and be like, hold on, who is this nigga? Who the fuck? Especially when it comes over female. You don't see how crazy them motherfucking animals in the, the real jungle get down just to fight and shit over females? Like, this shit is a, like a going cycle. Like, y'all niggas ready to lose y'all life over these hood rats, man. Y'all tripping. Man, let me know what y'all think. Like, comment, subscribe, man. Let me know what y'all think.